My bad. I don't think it should be here anymore. Yeah, there you go. I had some older settings on, yeah, from the other day from World versus World, so that's good. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. I actually f completely forgot about that. Um, let's keep uh, going though. IP Sorry about that. Oh! Well. <sighs> So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Yeah. Can I use this? Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. <laughs> Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Nah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On phone, it is true, yeah. Can you not throw the ball in there? Off the backboard. Oh! Sorry. Will you pick it out of the toilet? Oh, gross. Of the bat bot. Oh, sorry. It's <laughs> gross. It's just always going. Hey, what? Oh shit! Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Hey, what? My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you Could be the girls, yeah. Done this? I said it's the girls. I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Okay. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Ha! Huh. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Uh -huh. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Went to light up a cigarette and realized I left my matches in the car. Thinking fast, I threw one of my cigarettes off the side of the boat. Now, oh Jesus Christ! Well, the creepy man, maybe. Wake up! The whole boat was a cigarette lighter. Hey, wake up! <laughs> I'm confused. What do you mean, sales? I'm confused. I don't know if you can... Wait, what happened? How do I say? Oh, I'm at my typewriter. I'm 
I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Oh, dad joke. Okay. Sorry, our problem. Not that yet. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. <laughs> I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Confiscate. <laughs> Is there anything else here? I've got like a blanket now. Okay, I'm guessing I don't really need to hang out here much. Yeah, let's go. Oh look, there's my torch. I can't jog here. Okay, so we're going north. Again. Back to where we were yesterday. Oh, the door's still open from when I opened it. Okay. Kind of north, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't climb down it like that, but hey, you know. Seems quite, quite a big drop. Hey, Luke, what's up, dude? Can I just... Eh, yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, the graphics are pretty cool. This is a true story. Oh, I can't actually jump off or anything. God damn it. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, up, jump. Falling. Jumping. Falling. You'd worry about breaking an ankle. <laughs> Okay, so, wait, well, she said where the cave was. She said north from the cave? Does she mean, oh, go through the cave, then go north. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe? Or am I already on this side of the cave? Oh, no, yeah, I came down here yesterday. Just gotta go the other way. So this way. Report fog. I report fog now. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger the that. care with, the, <laughs> with bears. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah. How do you know? What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called The Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? I got a DUI, so... Oh. Yeah, not particularly proud of it. Well, I mean... Look, I... Oh, I haven't told anyone this, but, um... I got one, too, five years ago. Yeah? Yeah. God, it was stupid. It was so stupid, but, you know, it's late, it's winter, the, the streets are empty, and, and you just you just want to get home. Totally. Ugh. 
up so fucking dumb. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Interesting. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I empathize with the DUI thing. Did your um girlfriend get mad or whoever? You, you said we used to go to the bar. Ugh, sorry, I'm the most awkward woman on earth. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff? Wife? No, <laughs> my wife. But you're here. Congratulations. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own. <laughs> Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Interesting. Of course I'm going to go look at it, right? Right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry? There's a hat. I can put that on. Nice. Did, hey, just Justin's lurking. Uh oh. Or is it like? No. This is not a bad idea. Oh shit. Damn, man. Uh, oh, damn. Is that blood or is it rust? Could be rust. I mean, that's kind of freaky, right? Some watchtower got burned down. Passes the American safety board. Hey, Zara. Actually, that's a good point. You just reminded me. Good job. How you doing, man? This is very story based. Because <laughs> you do the fart. Although Snow does the fart as well. Oh, you guys, by the way. Yeah, it's a good game, man, so far. Uh, board fall info is up, including new goals uh, tier points. So go and have a look. Exclamation mark board of fall. All the info is there. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Oh, yeah. We found the pole of love. Where are we going now? I think about the cabin though. Hmm. 
I think you probably wander around a little bit. Okay, there's a thingy over there. Sounds like there's something running about. Oh, I don't think I can run up there. Right. It's just part of the path. Okay. Jump on this. We grab the beer. It's good that they did that because it looks like you could have actually just veered off the path. Where's that box? What was up here? Maybe not. I'm guessing we'll just find it. I'm a bald man and that's a spoiler? Spoiler? Hey, so there are beer cans all oh, over the wow. up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Wow. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, yeah. I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I mean, I need that. I need that thingy down there. I don't think I can get up, though. Let's see. There's another pathway. Maybe no. Just the same way I went just now. I feel like I should be able to get down there. Maybe it's over here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I was almost stuck. Woo! Okay, so let's see if there's another path going down from here. And I think I just kind of went round that rock, right? And I just came up that way. I mean, there's no other way down here. Okay. I still want to miss that box. So I'm just keep thinking, the box, the box. I 
There's no other way down. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw him last. Okay. So... <laughs> okay. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Does that mean I can go up there? <laughs> I mean, I must be able to go this way. Why do you think there's something weird going on? Oh. I don't think we can get up here. Ah. Nope, that's the same place. Right, let me clear it. It's literally branches. Hello! Uh, okay. Let's have a look at this map. Where am I? There's a cache there. Doesn't even look like you can kind of go to it, really. Oh, wait, look. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. I'm trying to find a way out. It says go to where you were before, right? I can't even get past this fucking bit. There's no way around here. There's no way out here. Unless this is a different path. Oh no, here we go. This is a different path. Ah, okay. Or is it? No, this isn't. Maybe it is? Yeah, it is. This is just the same bit. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I've got no idea. I missed that cache, though. Ah, fuck it. I guess maybe it means that I can just go there again later. We'll see. Supply drop. Ah! Wait a minute. So we'd be going... North. Okay. I can go two ways. Just said north I want to be going anyway. Okay, let's just do the story a bit. Have a look where the cache is as well. And the other way would have just been towards cache 241. Other than the other one, so it's fine. Oh, you twat. Can't climb over a rock, really? I like how there's mist there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is Basin Region Supply Drop. Oh, wait a minute. All right, let's go to the Supply Drop first. Can't remind me of the path of ears. I don't know why. Our supply drop is right here. Wow. <laughs> One, two, three, four, boom. What do we have? That's the sky. 
There is literally nothing in here. Are you serious? Two forks, spruce, moss peak. Good job, awesome, yeah. Nice. Uh, because people will probably guess the actual code, you know. It's not difficult to understand or to guess. You'd have a key, surely. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, look at this. Really? Hey, I'm out at a ravine. Huh. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Huh. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait. What? That means I can't even go there. Okay, so now... Where the fuck do I go? I need to take that path there, I think, right? Go To go back, maybe. Hmm. It's cool for you. All right, well, we're a bit stuck, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Hey, Danger Girl. Supply drops part of the story. Oh, okay. Maybe I should go try and find that. How you doing today, love? Guys, Baldathon, 21st, 22nd, remember. Exclamation about Border Fun in the chat. You can find out about the monthly subathon. Change some of the goals. There might be a scare stream on there. I gotta tell you, all this go climbing and jumping it's a big goal there. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. You're gonna have a few more choices than normal. Hmm. Keep going. Jesus. I like that you can look down and see your feet. Is that weird? Okay. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Huh. Okay. Yeah, but that's a hard, that's a big goal, that one. That would be a record. Basically, Did you guys know how much I don't want to do it. There's also a cooking stream on there again and Also some other bits and bobs uh, And snow came up with a great idea about a spin the wheel thing We're gonna do every time we hit 10 subs I fish by my own feet That's I don't even know if that's a thing. Is that even a thing? I guess I mean, I don't know to be honest um, there's also, so we're going to have every 10 subs or so, we're going to change the content up. So basically, when we get to 10 subs, we're going to change it, we get to spin the wheel. So we're going to be spinning some wheels. There we go. What's in there? Oh, a camera. Oh, one of those, like, old school... Well, I hmm. am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. 
With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Hmm. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Oh, God. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay, so I don't think there's anything else here I can do. As far as I remember. So now I've got infinite ropes. Everyone. So many ropes. Yeah, it's just like a linear story. Play through it. Um, I mean, I'm having fun so far. So far. Oh, you can climb now. Wait, how do I? But yeah, um, it's... Wait, what? Oh, there's another rope. Oh, cool. So now I can get back up to the places. So basically, run down of what's going on. Um, I'm a married man. My wife has dementia. I went to this, take this job in a ranger park um, to get away from all my issues. Uh, she moved back to her parents' house with her parents in Australia, I think it was. Um, we went through this story from the beginning about how we met. It was very sweet. They had a dog. They didn't have a kid, but she ended up having dementia. Uh, and he ended up having a DUI one night. Um, I guess he's depressed and everything else. And then he went and got this job. And now we're here in a park. And someone destroyed uh, like a communications line. He told some girls off for partying and throwing fireworks up in the air. Um, and now we're trying to find these girls to tell them off about cutting down this communication line. Because obviously it's not good. Because it's a line of communication out to um, the rest of the world. And also it's called Firewatch. So... That could be an indication of what is probably going to happen. Oops. And hello. How are you doing, dude? If you need any more info, let us know, man. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Oh, uh, really? <laughs> Loose stone. It's like a tooth, right? Or a claw. Oh, it is a claw. Sorry, it literally says claw. Wow. Map update. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Guess who's go- Dave. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him take, talking to himself. More than usual for the LOs. So I figured, figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Having himself? Oh, God. I'm starting to think the forest service only picks the deranged and perverted having himself. I've never heard that phrase before. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to DEB at, that sp at the spot. I'm just going to grab a Coke or something. I need a drink. Having yourself.
Okay, back. A stone. Okay. Let's take this letter. What's this? Like, just some random flowers and stuff. Yes. Okay. Uh, it looks like there's two or three ways here. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Did she say north? And I've just gone, like, the opposite direction. Uh, To where... Oh, no, no, no. We have to go back to where... I found them before, right? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go this way. I'm pretty sure, unless... Is there like a mission log? Or something? Hmm. Raptor Claw. This is a Jurassic Park. It is not Jurassic Park. This is a true story. What does she have? Jeffro's log. Supplemental. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Damn. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. This is true, Gribble. It's a rat. It was a raptor claw, yeah. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? <laughs> you found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Well... Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well... Having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. Going along the fence. See what happens. Alright, oh, I can't climb up there. That's that, then. Hmm. I'm supposed to be going back to where they were, basically. Where we found them before, because they were partying on the lake, right? Burned area? From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Fire lookout. Hmm. I'm getting this uh, fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Oops. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser. Yeah, it's pretty much. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name flapjack. to use. Flapjack. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before... I bounce your face off a dumpster. It's beautiful. So hmm. I've got a pet dragon. What the fuck? Is that a euphemism? So, how'd you meet? 
I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern <laughs> romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> And how often does that happen? I want to be this guy and just randomly go out into parks and with a rope and shit and just climb and stuff. That'd be awesome. I mean, they're not vertical. They're, they're fairly, like, angled, so you'd be alright, but still. I'm good, lazy. How you doing, brother? Just playing this game, you know, hanging out. <laughs> okay so we are now here so we're gonna go we are going back to the lake it looks like to see if we can try and pick up the trail how are you doing dude hey do you see that wait what yeah i think so that Thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Southwest. Well, you, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke. What balloon. direction is that? Great. Find your way over there and give them help. Okay. My friend to the fire watcher and he said it's boring. Oh really? This act this is actually a job? No way. I actually think I'd actually find that really fun for some reason. Because I just go hiking around. I wonder if we can do that in Seattle. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna assume that I'm just gonna assume that I'm still going south. There you go, kind of. I know this is the spot where we were before where they had their fire. I think. Music. Okay, let's find out where we're going. Here we go. Oh, can I walk out into the lake? Or maybe I can't. Uh, there's a rope thingy over here, though. I shall sing a song. The song is of 24 month that. subscription. Sorry. This is the song. Thank you for subscribing for 24 months because you're awesome, but are you bold? No, maybe, but you could be. Be bold for 24 months. I mean, thank you for 24 months. <laughs> Legend. Jebro hype, 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 Jebro hype. <laughs> Jebro hype, 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 Jebro hype. There we go. Um, I've only got up to twenty-four months alerts, and for some reason, when it goes up to twenty-five, I haven't just got resub. So I've got to have, I've got to make some new ones and that is going to be on my list of stuff I need to do, which I'm going to alter and do right this second. Uh, I, well, I'm going to say it. But what do you want? Do you want just a normal regular resub or do you want that every time? That's me singing, man. Although people are getting up to two years now, so it's like, yeah, probably a good idea that I changed that. I actually completely forgot to change it or to alter them. I need a free year one. 
Thank you, Vio. Can we get some sub pipe? Resub pipe in the chat, please. Vio is resubbed for 25 months. That is really like he's one of the first subscribers to the channel. That's awesome, man. Thank you, dude, so much. I really appreciate your support. How you doing today, man? You playing some good old wait, why is my why is everything like really blurry? Huh? Is it supposed to be like that? Is it supposed to be like that? It seems really blurry all of a sudden. Uh, can you guys see this? Is the game supposed to be that blurry? That's odd. Huh. Hey, I don't know if the game is supposed to be that blurry. Might be because I'm tired or something. Grinding Fortnite. Yeah, I need to get better at that. Completely. Hey, there. What's up? You would have liked this, actually. The story and everything. It's just literally gone blurry, and I'm not sure why. Huh. How weird. Okay, let me go out and then come back in again. Snow? Is snow still here? Is it supposed to get blurry at points? That's weird. I don't know why it's all of a sudden gone blurry. I mean, this isn't. It's just a game. What are you yeah, it must be just a fire, up? right? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Uh, maybe I'll. Go yeah, because there's enough. thingies in the air. Uh, well, the, the little She's thingies. She's with her family. In Must Melbourne. just be a fire, right? They're Must not just big be a fire. fans of mine. Oh. Her sister Susan is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always oh, thought right. she could do. It doesn't matter. Better. I was just wondering if it was blurry because of that. That I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. So our wife has dementia. Uh, we have kind of... We've gone and taken this job uh, in the forest as a fire watchman person. <clears throat> And basically, these kids are, like, setting up fires in different places. There's two girls. And uh, we're trying to find them to shut it down, basically. Like, this wasn't my job that I had before. Oh, wow. Okay, it's got clearer now. Is there actual just logs in there? Missing person. Name Mitch Michaels. Does he look 31? Yeah, but our wife... This, the whole thing led up to basically um, how she had dementia, his wife had dementia, how they met, they had, they, you know, bought a dog together. She's 41, so he's in his 40s, I think, um, like mid to late maybe. And he basically went to this place and there's different things have happened. I can't really keep reminding everyone what's going on, but uh, when they come in, it's difficult, especially with streams like this. This is why single player games are tough. Around July, it, that was the year I was born. Look at that. Distinctive facial hair. Huh. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and <laughs> realized it was a bad idea. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. 
Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. I don't have a tree, no. It's very linear, progressive, like, very linear game, Ada. It's very story-driven. So I think it'd take about five or six hours to play through. Thank you, Ada. Shadow Cat's just being mean as normal. <laughs> it's alright, I know he's joking. Maybe! Maybe he's hurting me on purpose. Bully! Terrible person. Yeah, this is a chill game on a Sunday. We got this thanks to you guys donating the money. So this is for you guys today. Oh, the music. Huh. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Can you climb this? No. Ah, aha. Here we go. There we go. Why is there fabric on the tree? Yeah, because he's a ranger. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I have entered <laughs> the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name ah, of the magazine plasma. for girls. Plasma. It's on the ground here at their camp. Planeswalker donated this. That's right. Sorry, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, man. It is a great game. Great game. Oh, thanks, mate. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. See, I look younger than I am. There you go. There's no one in here. The tent looks like it's oh, been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Hmm. Oh wait, whoops. This like I hope you're fucking happy we're leaving and we're f going to find a place or whatever. Find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped up on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. It's gross out. You're probably so mental fucking axe murderer and you are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a joke over some slap, some fireworks, dick. Oh shit. So that wasn't us, obviously. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. 
Well, what's it say? Call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Oh no. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start mm. enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me Interesting. too. I like that you don't have to go all the way back just to finish off doing the things. Do you know what I mean? They free indeed. Port van boards downstairs to patch the window. So someone broke into the tower and took his sheets hey, and whatnot. Henry? Yeah. Um what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> I burnt Reynolds. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh,. You know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my God, you are the whitest man! Wow, I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedo yeah. as often as possible. Oh really? You bet. Oh really? How cosmopolitan! I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> Good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. Well, I have a thin mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar. Goes down across <laughs> my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Bond villain? I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Hmm. Day nine? Jesus. 
skipped a fair few days there. Oh man, a sandwich. Oh, yeah. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I am, goddammit. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person Shit. to see them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Jesus. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Wow. It's actually really nice. Another six days. Jesus. This is his wife now. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Yeah, this is her wife. She's Australian. Yeah, this is his wife. Yeah. Been here for a month now. Damn. All right, okay. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, oh, I get supply my stuff drop. delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really Hey, Daydre, what's it. up? She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. How you doing, buddy? So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was uh. the through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and... I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Uh, I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. 
Uh, he was a driller down in Casper. I bet it was. Dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut oh. loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I <coughs> wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Wait, who has 16 years? Oh no! Your cat, I'm so sorry. Ugh, oh, pets. When Frodo had his thing last year, it was actually about a year ago, he had a kidney <laughs> issue. Well, was it kidney? It was a bladder issue. Like, he was, he had stones and it was causing him loads of big problems and he had to have an operation. It cost us a fair bit of money. I know that problem. And dogs as well. Yeah, Firewatch is awesome so far. It was really cheap in the, um, the sale and also Planeswalker just gifted it to us. But yeah. Like, that was pretty flipping awesome. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm two forks, right? Aren't I? Yeah, I'm two forks. There you go. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I, I guess am? that could have changed the story. Hey, Tulip, what's up, dude? Yeah, it's just linear. It's very linear, Deidre. I don't know if anyone can give a quick update in the chat, maybe. Maybe Snow or Gribble or someone who's been here from the start. Maybe Planes, like where we are. And we can copy-paste it every time. That would be cool. Oh, shit. Seat for what might be the biggest fire Shit. of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you Gerald. do the Blapjack. How about the big fire? Ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's. No, 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 Ada. Nothing. <laughs> no, you big dummy. That crazy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, like no, you very not. basic text You're over sweet, But we can't call it the Delilah fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June fire, even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Oh, shit. Oh. I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. All right, Gribble's doing a little rundown. There you go. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just... Get lost. It's fire. Yeah. This is bad. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. 
I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Uh-oh. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um... You know... What? What could we do? Well... Let me tell you. Oh, damn! 76, so just over two months. Two and a half months. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Wait. No, I won't tell anyone. Might use it? That oh, shit. Me. I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Ah. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah. Check yeah, for the yeah. lake side, the lake side for the bear tracks. So I need to go over here. Or to the west. Okay, that's right. I like how it tracks your adventures basically like in this one little place. It's just it's very like there's a lot of audio. Which is good. Gribble is kind of updating everyone by the way in the chat, so if you do want to go back and have a look, she's kind of still doing it, so have a look. Huh. What the, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? Oh my god. What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. In the canyon. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, In the canyon? Devastating. Creek, Cotton Creek. Yeah, it's fun to canyon. Know, okay, okay, cool. Buckaroo? Oh god. I don't know why <laughs> I do that. Oh, Deidre, I I have n absolutely no doubt about the people in this this community. They're awesome. Oh, hey, look. here you go. Oh! Shit! Oh, fuck! Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Anyhow, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you what? serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. 
let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. You... You haven't been drinking, have you? No. Uh -huh. oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our... Our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, Just which God. is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. I've got a theory about this game right now. I've got a theory. I don't know if you want to hear it because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I, I've not played it before. But, like, I've got a theory about this. What's going on? At the moment. Ah, oh, sub two points. Um, I have a theory. Hey, Plasma, what's up, dude? A theory? <laughs> it is with an F, yes. You have a theory as well. Now I do, specifically, especially after the thingy. Um, okay, so one of my theories is that he's, maybe that he's, either that he has dementia and something's going on with that, or, and like, Julia is trying to reach him or something, and like, I don't, I'm not sure, something like, something, me something mental health wise, something like, I don't know, like, he, or he's in a dream, or he's in a coma, or, or I don't know. He's in this place, but maybe, you know, I'm not actually sure. Something. But yeah. I don't know if this is really happening. 100%. Or it is happening, but... And then the other extreme is that she's there, and she's the one who's, like, tracking him. And like she's completely lost it. So there's like there's a couple of different ideas in my head right now. I don't know. Does everyone understand what's going on at the moment? I want to make sure you guys are kind of on it. Because there's something about that hiker missing from 1981 that I've got in my head for some reason as well. And it's like that hiker could be the guy, or it's not at all, and the hiker that we saw earlier on the sign is that guy who's wandering around still. Um, but I feel like these notes have something to do with it as well. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll get me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get me... Did you get my note about what went down the were pity? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and... Professionalis is Italian. There you go. Yeah, so basically what's what's happened so far in the game is from from beginning, you met this white you met a lady, 
Uh, there was some tech stuff where we had a few different options. We have a dog. Um, she got, got dementia, basically. Uh, they're about four, early 40s, mid 40s. Um, she went back to Australia. She's Australian. You're American. She went to Australia. Her parents came and got her. She's living there at the moment. And now, like, you went and took this job uh, in the park. You got a drunk and disorderly. No, drunk uh, under the influence uh, from driving back home from a bar one day. You break, it was like a point one zero, And now in the, we're in the park. Um, these girls lit a fire. You stomped out the fire through the stereo in the lake. You saw this weird um, guy in the background who was shining a torch at you. And now, like, these two girls are missing. And I think they're still missing and presumed dead. And their parents are worried about them in California. Um, and basically, there was that fire... And now we're kind of just, we just got knocked out basically. And the whole conversation has been written down between me and this lady. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit like they're both alone. They're both in these watchtowers. I've got no one else to talk to. So they've kind of got a little bit of a relationship. She kind of likes him a bit. I'm not sure about him specifically. I think he likes her a little bit as well, but he's lonely on his, on his own and everything else. And now we're just trying to find out what's going on. We found this fenced off area, which stopped me from going away. I needed to go. So I had to good, make a detour. And now we're going back to this fenced off area where we think this there might be something happening. Um, I'm sorry if that's a bit vague, but a lot's happened. <laughs> and uh, I kind of want to carry on. It could be Ned, yeah. That's what I'm thinking as well. So yeah, there was this guy called Ned who used to be a fire watcher, but he left. I think he left with his kid, right? I don't know. Some of this just seems a little bit more... I don't know. That normally means something, isn't it? Hmm. These rocks... What do these rocks mean? It normally means people. That means something. What does that mean? It's a smaller rock with a bigger rock on top. Is that like a direction? I can't remember. It's like a scout thing. Pretty sure. Like a climbing thing. Get more guns and the dragon. They'll probably come in handy. <laughs> probably. Ah, fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora. <sighs> we'll see what you can do to get past it. This isn't her this isn't her section either. Like this is our section. But here you go, look again. 